Every day, thousands of Mid-Southerners drive by this Union Avenue location and they see a sign that says University of Tennessee. Well, today on Definitely Downtown, we're going to take you behind these arches and show you all about the University of Tennessee Health Science Center. Come on. It takes a lot to operate the UT Health Science Center, and this is the man that operates everything here, Dr. Kim Brand. Hi, doctor. Hi, how you doing, Lee? Good to see you. I'm doing fantastic. Good to see you as well. Tell us a bit about UT Health Science Center. But what you got, Lee, is you got a, you got a small city. We're a city within a city. This, this enterprise right here, we've got probably 2,500 students, about 3,000, 4,000 employees. So, so you're roughly talking about seven, 8,000 people that occupy about 2 million square feet in the heart of the Memphis community. We train a pretty significant percentage of the healthcare providers in the state of Tennessee. Uh, roughly 80 to 90 percent of the physicians, roughly 80 to 90 percent of the dentists, uh, roughly 80 to 90 percent of the pharmacists. Uh, our school of nursing, we graduate doctoral level nurses, uh, have a clinical nurse leader program, you know, advanced nurse research staff that we create, uh, College of Allied Health, we do physical therapy, uh, health information, we're involved in the state on a big e-health initiative. So we make a huge contribution to the state of Tennessee and nationally with some of the basic science research that we've got going on here. So it's one of the best kept secrets. It's my understanding that there are actually six schools affiliated with the UT Health Science Center and those schools are? The College of Pharmacy, the College of Allied Health, we have the College of Medicine, uh, the College of Nursing and the College of Dentistry and we've got graduate schools in Knoxville and in Chattanooga. We have a family practice center up in Tipton, we have family practice out at St. Francis, our residents rotate at virtually every hospital in this community. With more than 400 professionals providing clinical care at hospitals, in doctor's offices, and at other health care facilities, UT Medical Group is the largest physician group in the region. UTMG is the clinical practice for the faculty members of the UT Health Science Center College of Medicine. So the next generation of health care providers is being taught by the specialists who are active, experienced practitioners. We get students from all over the country, uh, particularly for the College of Dentistry, just by way of an example. You know, we educate the dental students for the state of Arkansas. The state of Arkansas doesn't have a dental school, so we have a contract with them to educate their dental students. Uh, and the majority of them are state funded, state of Arkansas funded, and they go back to Arkansas to practice dentistry. What's it take to really staff? a location like this. You know, we have $130 million state appropriated budget and that's a, that's a fraction of the amount of money that it takes to move this enterprise. We generate pretty significant amount of federal NIH research to the tune of 40 to 50 million dollars a year. Pretty significant part of the UT system's budget uh, is invested here at the Health Science Center. So it's a mammoth enterprise, it's a lot of people. We're uh, much akin to an aircraft carrier at sea. We're a small city that's pretty self-sufficient. We've got general stores, we've got our own information technology. Uh, in the event of some calamity, we are a self-sustaining enterprise. I mean, we will have to continue to function when things around us can't continue to function. Well, Dr. Brown, from where you sit, again, you're over all the operations, but can you give us a global viewpoint of the importance, some of the important things happening in the various schools? Um, you know, the College of Medicine particularly, uh, you know, we're involved in the transplant program down at Methodist. We are nationally ranked in the number of kidneys and livers that we transplant, you know, here at the Methodist Hospital. You know, the College of Pharmacy, we're building a new $50 million pharmacy building. Um, you know, we've increased our class size to about 200 students, and we, UT alums, populate the majority of the pharmacies throughout the state of Tennessee. You know, the College of Allied Health Professionals, we've got a nationally ranked physical therapy program. You know, our College of Dentistry, we see a pretty significant population of patients from the community, non-insured, underinsured, uninsured, uh, here in the College of Dentistry. Uh, so each one of our colleges, in trying to be a, uh, a good neighbor, be interwoven in the fabric of this community, we're doing things to, again, try to improve the health status of the population of the state of Tennessee. 
Opened in September 2007, the 90,000 square foot Cancer Research Building on the Health Science Center campus houses 32 research laboratories, 33 offices, and 55 scientists. The Center for Cancer Research at the UT Health Science Center is the only adult cancer research facility in the Mid South. The UT Cancer Research Building is the only facility dedicated to laboratory discovery for adult cancers and the development of new therapeutics and new protocols. Well, Dr. Brown, what is the most important thing that you want our viewers to know about the UT Health Science Center? That, that we've been here for 100 years, and that even though our primary mission is the education of the healthcare workforce, we provide a lot of care. We put hands on a lot of people, and we're concerned about the people and the health status of the citizens of the state of Tennessee. So every day, our objective is to make an impact so that our national ranking in terms of our health status uh, improves. We're not concerned so much about where the institution falls in its ranking. We're concerned about where the state falls in its ranking of the health status of the citizens of the state. So we're out there trying to care for patients. In addition to primary campus locations in Memphis, Chattanooga, and Knoxville, the University of Tennessee Health Science Center has more than 100 clinical and educational sites across the state. You're the executive vice chancellor, chief of staff, so over all the operations. Mm -hmm. How does what you do differ from what the chancellor of this operation does? Well, my role is, is again, giving you the military analogy, much like the XO. I'm the operations person. The chancellor really is, is the policy person. I mean, the chancellor, he meets with the, the philanthropic Uh, kinds of parties to talk about resources. You know, the Chancellor bears the responsibility of getting resources so that we can continue this operation. We had a chance to talk to Dr. Wall about the economic impact of the UT Health Science Center in the Mid-South region. I would suspect we're well over a two billion dollar addition to the uh, economy of this, of this, uh, of this community. Uh, it's my understanding that businesses grow uh, from the research that you do, that you can actually spawn businesses as a result of the research that's practiced here. A good example is the BioWork, which is on the old Baptist site. Uh, on, that, on that campus, uh, we call the UT Baptist Research Park, uh, BioWorks is a huge presence. We will add about a half a million square feet of research space uh, In, in the very near future, which will bring us uh, to about a, a, a million and a half uh, total research uh, space uh, in, in the very near future. We're in the process of, of uh, planning a, a new 100,000 square foot uh, research building. One of the reasons I think we are a, bit, uh, a well kept secret is the fact that we are quietly in, interwoven in, in this community in healthcare. We have not touted uh, our worth, I think, uh, as we should have done. I think the institution bears some responsibility in that uh, over time. Now I think it's the time to come out and very aggressively and publicly say, hey, you know, $2 billion dollar addition to the economy uh, each year, a aggressively moving involvement across the state. And I think it's time to tell the story and that's what we're trying to do. I consider us the flagship campus in the state for, at least public flagship uh, campus in the state for producing uh, the healthcare workforce. Well, Dr. Wall, you've got the passion and the people and the power to keep the healthcare system intact throughout the state. Thank you so much, sir, for your great work that you do here at the UT Health Science Center. Come back to see me and I'll tell you more. Thank you very much. Yeah. And stay right there, definitely downtown. We'll be right back.